we started out, you had one child, a nice little car, <laughs> a lot of nice clothes and shoes. <laughs> yes. Now we drive a 15 passenger van. <laughs> We've got 15 children. But you know, I won't change anything. It's not just about, you know, giving kids a, a home, but giving other kids hope. They don't have the same stability. They, they don't know, you know, if they're gonna be in one school one month and then another school the next. So it was emotional because those kids, as soon as they walked in my house, the very first day, they were like, can this please be the last home that I walk into? And sure enough, it was. My mom kicked me out and abused me and left me out there in the cold. The first time I went to a place where I was scared because I ain't know nobody and I ain't not open up to people. I wanted love. Like, I wanted love and I wanted somebody to hold me when I cried. People like Frank came in my life to train me and make me better in life. We all want to be part of somebody or something. Like my kids asked me three years ago, hey dad, do you really want us? I said, why? Because the other family, when the better kids came in, they got rid of us. I said, I'm fighting for you. I want you. And I don't care if it's four years, five years. You don't even have to have my last name. In my heart, you're mine. In my eyes, you're mine. I love you. And whatever the battle is, I'm here to fight for you. At the end of the day, everyone needs love. Everyone. And there's a lot of children out here that don't have that. And I think that that's the biggest thing. It's a lot of kids that don't feel wanted. Not every story is a success story, but thankfully, we were lucky enough to have that with our kids. And they know that we're not going to let them down. So them needing us as their champions just gives them that you know, motivation. Like, you know what? At the end of the day, I know my mom has my back. And if my mom got through life, I'm going to get through life too. You know, it's that. Thing to look forward to. I think we all need support, you know, like that saying that says it takes a village to be that cheerleader that cheers them on or that person that they can go to, you know, when things get tough. So, I, you know, no matter what age you are, we all need that, you know, that support person in our lives to help us through. If I could be somebody's mentor, I would just tell them everything would be okay. Just calm down, breathe in, and just believe in yourself. I would want to tell them that no matter what you're going through, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So I think with me and him, we were consistent, meeting on a weekly basis, him never missing a session and challenging me, like, where you at, Mr. Frank? So I would say this, um, once you have conquered one mountain, climbing mountains are all the same.